Hi, I'm Dave Simon from Ford Racing. I'm responsible for engine development and design for our NASCAR programs, and I'm here to give everyone a quick discussion on the new fuel injection systems we have for 2012. So, um, starting in Daytona, we are going fuel injected in the Cup Series, um, as many of you know. So, it brings about a lot of new technology into the sport, um, a lot of relevance to our street cars and what you guys drive every day. Um, just as the engine is controlled in your road car, um, everything's electronically controlled by a computer. Uh, fuel, a spark, in some cases even air is controlled by the computer. Um, all the things that are essential to how your engine runs. Well, stepping away from the carburetor of, of years past into fuel injection and computer controlled, our engines are now controlled exactly the same way as they are in a production car. So this is our, our new McLaren ECU, which controls spark and fuel. Um, our air is still controlled mechanically, but that's actually the case with many, many street cars still today as well. So it brings a lot of the same technology from a production car into the race cars, and it gives us a wonderful opportunity to actually um, transfer technology from our current production vehicles into our race cars. Even though the formula of our race cars is, is very different from a lot of street cars. I mean, there, are, there aren't too many, you know, two-door V8, push rod, iron block, rear-wheel drive uh, production cars out there, and, and we know that. Um, but the key is the technology that's in our race cars is relevant to the production cars or street cars. Um, and this is a huge step forward um, in, in, that, in that respect. So, we can look at how production cars are controlled and work on the control systems for our race cars. And what we learn on the racetrack, we can transfer back to our production cars. So with our new fuel injection systems, we have a number of new components on the engine. Uh, we've got the new fuel system components that are unique to fuel injection um, that replace the carburetor. We've got new mechanical components, such as the throttle body. And we've got new electronic components, which now control the fuel injection system. So the mechanical bits, obviously we have a throttle body that's sitting in the same location our carburetor did, but now it no longer controls any of the fuel. It's just passing air into the engine. So you have throttle, bo you have throttle blades and you have a throttle linkage just like you did with the carburetor. Um, it is still mechanically controlled. We do not have electronic throttles yet. But, you know, we'll see. Um, so it, just, it just, just flows air. That's it. Our new fuel system components, um, again, replacing the fuel function of the carburetor, we now have new fuel pumps. We have uh, uh, the fuel lines are, are pretty much the same as they used to be, coming from the tank up to the, the engine. But once you get to the engine, that's when the big differences occur. We now have fuel rails one on each bank of the engine, and obviously our fuel injectors, one per runner of the intake manifold. So there's one injector per cylinder. And that, again, gives us the control of metering how much fuel goes into each cylinder. Um, unlike the carburetor that dumped fuel into a central plenum, and then physics and, and um, running conditions took over to determine where the fuel went, um, we can actually just inject what we want into each cylinder. The electronics that control it, um, this is the brain, this is our, our new McLaren ECU. So just like your road car has um, a computer that controls all the functions in the car, uh, we do too, we, we now do as well. So that computer controls our injectors, it controls, it takes data from all the sensors that are now on the engine, pressures and temperatures and speeds, uses all that information to compensate the amount of fuel that's going into the engine relative to our base calibration maps. So those are the main, the main differences. We've now, we've got full electronics on the engine, which is great because we have data that we can look at now. Um, the fuel system components are obviously now fuel, in, fuel injection components rather than the carburetor. And our mechanical parts, like the throttle body, um, do some of the same functions as the carburetor, but, but uh, they don't have the burden of fuel, metering fuel anymore. So those are, those are the basics between the fuel injection system and our, car, our carbureted systems from previous engines.